Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the south working card trick to a point. It is impromptu from a borrowed deck if it wants to be. And just a quick one, sorry about the Great Wu Ding upload. For some reason a lot of you guys couldn't watch it, it froze. I've had a few technical issues with YouTube recently. Every time I upload a video I've got to skip the first half second of the video. Otherwise it freezes for some reason. But the Great Wu Ding was just after four more subscribers, four more, and then he was going to do a giveaway. So that was just me trying to give him those extra four subscribers. Right, an impromptu card trick. This is impromptu. This is from a borrowed deck if you want it to be. But just to make things easier for me, I've always got a crimped Jack of Spades. So no matter where that card is in the deck, I can always cut to it. You do not need a crimped card. If you've not got a crimped card, you just need to remember what is on the bottom. So the spectator will shuffle. As I've got a crimped card, I'm just going to cut my jack to the bottom. So I know it's the jack. If you haven't got a crimped card, you're just going to remember whatever card is on the bottom at the time. But I'm going to use the crimped for now. And then you'll get spectator number one to cut off a portion of cards. So they cut this many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Remember your number. This is a number that nobody else needs to know. The other spectator or you do not need to know how many cards they got silently to yourself. Spectator number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, we'll take fifteen to make it easy for me to remember. So two spectators have got two random numbers. You don't need to know them. You're going to pick up these piles together and then drop this on top. Remembering I've got a crimp card or you're just remembering what this card is. Drop it on top. Right, you're going to get either spectator number one or spectator number two to remember a card and the position of however many cards they cut to. So I'm going to use spectator number one's number, which was 10. So spectator number one, I want you to remember a card in the position that represents how many cards you add. So that would be 10. So they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They're remembering the King of Hearts. I'm going to turn it over for a minute. And you're just going to keep going through until you can see that they've seen their card. Now it does not matter if you go past your jack wherever it is. That makes no difference whatsoever. So you're just going to keep going through counting 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Have you seen one yet? If they've got one, this portion is going to go on the top of the deck and you're going to flip everything over. And then you're casually, where your crimp is, it's here, you're just going to cut the deck Oops, at that point. And what you need to do now, you need to do one more thing. You need to take a card off the top of the deck and put it on the bottom. So how I did that was while I was doing the cut, as soon as I got this cut like that, I just got a little pinky break or thumb break under the top card and I basically double undercutted that card to the bottom. So now you should be in the case you've got your card, your crimped card and a card on top of it. Right, just to be clear, we've put that back on there now. Let's say you haven't got a crimp card and you can't do this cut because you haven't got a crimp, you've done this from a borrowed deck. All you're gonna do is turn the cards over and say, look, the card you saw could be anywhere in this packet. And all you're gonna do is go through these cards until you see your card, which in case is the jack for me, and you're just gonna cut it at that point and place it on the bottom. So you don't need a crimp card, you just need to get whatever card you remember being on the bottom back to the bottom. Get that little thumb break under the top card and then double undercut that to the bottom. So there should be one card above the bottom card. All you're going to do now is ask spectator number two, what was your number? They will say 15. Right, I'm going to deal down to the 15th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Works every time. I'll just quickly show you again. Right, let's pretend we haven't got a crimp card. We'll get rid of that. Spectator will shuffle these cards. You'll take them back and glimpse the Ace of Diamonds. Remember the Ace of Diamonds. And I'm going to keep the numbers the same so I don't forget. So two, four, six, eight. Spectator number one has ten cards. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 
14, 15. Spectator number two has got 15 cards. Right, remember your numbers for me. We're going to use spectator number two's number this time, 15. All these will go on the bottom. You'll remember in your ace of diamonds. I'm going to show you a few cards. I want you to remember the card and the position that represents how many cards you had. In this case, it'll be 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They're going to remember the ten of clubs. And you're just going to keep going through until they've seen one. And it doesn't matter if you go past your marker card. We're just going to take all these cards, put them on the top. You could actually do a fake cut now if you want. And then turn the deck over and say, look, your card could be anywhere in here. And all you're going to do is just go through till you find the ace of diamonds, wherever the ace is. Cut the cards at this point, flip them back over. Get your thumb break under that top card and double undercut that card to the bottom. Right, spectator number one, how many cards did you have? Ten. Right, we deal down to the tenth card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's how it works, guys. You're just remembering what's on the bottom or get yourself a crimp card much easier. You can always locate it and you know it's there and just displace that one card from the top to the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe to the Great Wu Ding guys. Maybe you can have a chance of winning whatever he's gonna give away. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.